Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Push TV. It's your favorite presenter, Lindo Ganyuza. Today, we've got Utsisep Omnali from Walang. How are you doing today? I'm good, and you? How are you, Lindo? I'm good, I'm good, thank you. So, Friday Business Dialogues, Naledi Foundation. Please tell me, where did that all come from? Where does this all start? Naledi Foundation has is, is, is been in existence for the past eight to nine years. Uh, Friday Business Dialogues is one of Naledi's flagship uh, programs. Uh, it's, a, it's an enterprise development initiative which started eighteen months a, a year to eighteen months ago. Uh, what inspired Friday Friday Business Dialogues was that since we are people who are in the business space, uh, what we tend to see and experience was that as black people due to apartheid and some other reasons of being black people being marginalized in this country, black people do not have a reference point when it comes to business where if they fail they can go to someone and say, Look, I have um, my business is struggling, how can you assist me with that one? Is that Uli Do might be the first person in the firm to start a business. Uh, now if Uli Do is failing, where will Uli Do go? Mm -hmm. So now we created this platform for, for one of those purposes. And also uh, one of the overarching objectives was that we wanted to create a sustainable economic ecosystem within our townships. What do I mean by that? I mean if you if you go to a like violence and yes. uh, Muslims and Indian people create a, a community in violence where every their money revolves around and then around violence, yeah. So now we created that, that, that kind of concept in our townships where we, we instead of complaining to the government, yeah, we empower our own black people. We empower our own so that if only no mix makes it big, only no will be able to employ other black young people instead of working for government. To the and and to be yeah. and so so who, who, if private business dialogues is trying to was inspired by, was motivated and inspired by those reasons. Wow. Yeah. Oh, great stuff, great stuff. So you got to break that gap of needing to have to go to, you know, institutions and whatever. You just have, you created this whole panel where you find all these opinions in one room and you can honestly just speak about your problems and find a solution. Yes, and more than that. Uh, because also, I got, what we also found out when we did our research, when we, when we wanted to start this right Try to try to finish that for that. Uh, in our townships, who only know live anybody, and anybody one or two, but only know not know what happens in 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 in, in, in anybody seven. Now we want uh, we want these entrepreneurs to, to network amongst each other and meet frequently as they can, so that who only know knows what circles doing, who only know knows who mind that doing on, on on the other on the other part of the community, and also. So that in mind, yes, the population could revolve around the population as much economy and build the economy. Yeah. Yes, we know that it would take time, but we have to start somewhere. And the world was involved in one day. Exactly. Wow. So, and the foundation, where, where, where is the foundation at right now? You know, you talked about your Friday dialogues. And the foundation, what is it up to right now? What is it? Have you got a new project? Have you got a new project? Unadi Foundation is a, is a youth development uh, NGO which focuses, which uses three instruments to develop young people. Uh, education, which is, which is uh, predominantly after the school program. Oh, okay. uh, number two, arts and culture, where we host some, some arts development uh, programs and projects. And the third one would be enterprise development. And the United Foundation is a flagship program of the enterprise development. We also have workshops which uh, next month, September, we will we, 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 we be hosting USAS, where USAS assists SMEs, various SMEs, on how to be compliant with SARS. Because one of the things which is killing our black entrepreneurs is, 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 is non compliance. So we want our, 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 our people to be compliant. You can't complain if you're not compliant. True. That, that's and a, simple as that. Yeah, that's, our man, that's, that's one of our mantras. Wow. 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 Amazing stuff. What's the mm. Is there anything you would like to say to our viewers? Where can they find you? When they, where, they, where can they get a hold of business, uh, the Friday Dialogues, Naledi Foundation? I mean, there's probably a whole lot of kids out there that actually want to be put onto your panel. Where can they find you? Uh, they can find us on Facebook. Okay. Uh, Naledi Foundation Walanga. 
and the Wakala is it's very important because there's another line information in Joba. Yeah. And within no time, maybe in a week or two, our site will, will, will be up and live. So people can, can go to our, our website, mm -hmm. www.information.com. Excuse me, .org. 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 Okay, okay. .org. So it's Naledi. .org. .org. Yeah. .org. Okay. Yeah. So guys, hear that? You can find me on Facebook. Uh, Naledi Foundation. And also .org. .org. That is the website that's actually coming up next week. Yes. That's us. And we also have to thank each and every one. Uh, for the past year, 18 months, who supported us in, in, in this kind of business dialogues. Uh, in particular, our partners, your SAP Foundation, your CEDAS, your NYTA, the uh, Wilson Cape Government, and the city of Cape Town. Mm -hmm. We say thank wow. you very much. And wow. please goes on and on, eh? on and on, yes. Wow, wow. So you've already got a lot of the structure behind you. Wow. Oh, cool. uh, it is very important. Partnership is very important in what we do. Uh, I, 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 I implore young people to seek partnerships, not necessarily for, for financial gains, but also for expertise. Yeah, partnerships are very important. Well, of course, so thank you for coming to us today. Thank you for telling us about your business Friday dialogues. Thank you for telling us about Mandating Foundation. And thank you for coming to us today. Uh, well, my name is Sobe Adina. Thank you very much. I am the young domna, Baba, when I won't get coy, bombing, bombing, bam. I am the young domna, Rastafari, I get coffin, and now we foot up pin that bear coy. And we're back, guys, we just had a chat with the post, he said, Gong Ali, and now we're chilling with Kodumzi and the Mugota, aka Sugar. Yes, yes, how are you doing, sir? I'm good, my friend, I keep thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. give thanks, give thanks, my brother, I'm good myself. Man. So tell me about your sugar, I mean, because. You're an educator and then you're an artist. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an educator working at Sibuya School of Skills, which is situated in Kukuleto, okay. 7750 NY 83. Yeah, I started this, I've been working there since 2010. Um, I'm teaching creative arts and also like go over to art and craft, drama, music as well. Okay. Yeah, that's what I do there. And an and artist, uh, I do ragamuffin music. I started it way back when, as who knows me. I started with the likes of Zorro, Max Zorro, Lefty Ninja, and you name them. You know, except, oh, like, well, well, well. Yeah, so I've been struggling since then, you know, but it's a, it's a nice struggle because I feel like this is my pilgrimage, you know, and I'm I'm enjoying myself in this journey, as hard as it is, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm using I'm using my art form as a way of mobilizing my, my black communities, especially the youth, because I'm focusing on the youth, because the youth is the future, you know. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes, the future. So it's them that I target the most. And I'm using my, my indigenous language, you know, which is Tosa. Yeah, because yeah, at least when you when you do it in you know, in your indigenous language, it's very easy to relent, you know, like everyone and also, in the ghetto, yes, like they just pick it up easily. You know? So where did Umtura start? Where did all the breaking start? Um it started off, you know, with me not even thinking about it because I was just attracted by e -E 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 Rastafari culture, oh, Rastafari okay. culture, you know. So, and then I just got myself into it, you know, because of the traits of Rastafari, like they attracted me with their humbleness and, and the black consciousness embedded in it, you know. So from there, that's when I, I found out hey, there's, there's more to this, you there's know. There's more to this culture. Yeah, like this artist here who are Rastas, and, is singing and they using patwa or some people say patos, you know. Patos. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know, but it's patwa language. Uh, it's like a broken English. Yes, 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 like yes, yes. Jamaica, you know, and like down. Caribbean countries, yeah, <laughs> and the Caribbean islands. So, yeah, like I, I joined, I, I, I was fascinated and then I learned from there and then I discovered my own voice, you know, and then I decided, yo, 
let's use our own language. No, I actually want to hear that because how did it come to your first trap? I mean, what was the preparation yeah. like? I mean, Yo, it, you know, you had never been a singer before and now you're just singing reggae. Yeah, it was very, very difficult, my brother, you know. Uh -huh. uh, a, brother, a brother called Deba, you know, he, he was the one who was always, uh, you know, showing us how to write, how to read, and how to write in part one, you know, because it was very, because we have to first contextualize in that language, you know, which is very, very difficult yes, yes, before yes. you express yourself. So, but as time went on, it, yeah, it just came on and on. Kind of like yeah, you know. So now I thought, yo, let me go back, man, <laughs> because lots of people in, in our communities they love reggae music, but they they don't really hear the words, you know, because it sounds like broken body, English. You know? It, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I thought, yo, 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 cap sugar, you have to try to be original, man. You know, let's let's do it in person. And then my first song was La Kali Kelong. La Kali Kelong. La Kali Kelong, which is a, a which is more of, of like a singing, you know. Like, yeah, I, I sang it. I have an album, the album is called Nam, which is my first album, where you find the song La Kali Kelong. And where can I find you? Hey, my brother, now it's, you know, it, it got sold out, you okay. know. Okay, okay, I'm gonna be no business. I used to say it at, at African, um, African um, music shop, which is a long street. African music shop. Yeah, it so was. that's where they can find your music. But not now, because the second one we are about to to duplicate copies now at the end of the month. So it's from hand to hand now, you know, because we also try to establish our own label, which is a uh, real revolution records. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. So we're trying to do it on our own and we. We're tired of relying on, on, on other people, you know, because at the end of the day, there's so much disappointments and, you know, di diversions, you know, of expectations. So we're trying to take long enough by doing it ourselves. Yeah. And with your message, how do you pass that message through your music? I mean, because, I mean, not all of the kids are going to understand, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, the thing is, I, I try to to express what I observe every day, you know, which is easily relative for anyone living in, 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 in the black townships, you know. So, yeah, I, I guess that's how I catch, you know, the journey you know, with other youths and other people in my community because whatever I, I sing about, they can see it, they, they know about it, or maybe it happened. To, to them. So you speak about so, the everyday struggle yeah. of a young black man. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's very powerful. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And with that message being said, is there more to you? Is there something you're up to right now? Is there a project you're really up to right now? Yeah, my project that I'm about to release now is called Asitin, mm. uh, which is a, an album consisting of 12 songs, Raka Muffin mixed up with hip hop. Um, I also featured a few uh, artists from the ghetto, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. artists like OG, uh, with my producer Ras B, uh, also known as Black B, you know. Black B. Yeah, he's the producer of the album. And uh, yeah, I featured a few people, some of them I, I want to keep it as a You want to keep it low key, you want to keep it low key, yeah, yeah. and everything, man. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to know, I want to know after yeah. the show. And I also paint t-shirts, and then some of the uh, some of the the issues, the ghetto issues or, or the the ghetto ills, mm -hmm. I express them through uh, cartooning, you know. Okay. And, and which is what I teach the the youth as well, you know. Where can they see you perform? Um, at the moment, my brother, I won't lie, just because I'm in front of the camera, you know. Uh, not anytime soon, ne? But uh, I'm doing my launch sometime early November. Early November. Because now we're just going to duplicate the copies and just pass, let the people know that the album is out from head to head. And then I'm preparing for, for the, the proper launch. And where can people find you? Uh, people can find me um, on, on the Facebook page, which is called Real Revolution Records. 
to them. Yeah, so Real Revolution Real Records. Real Revolution Records. You heard that guy? Real Revolution yeah. Records on Facebook. On Facebook and then on, on, on my, my email, they could find me on um, amilauya at gmail.com or sikusnp at gmail.com. Amila Oya at gmail. Amila Oya. Amila Oya at gmail.com. Or and at um, sikusnp at gmail.com. Thank you. I am the young Baba, we now get koi bomini e bomini bam. I am the young dom na Rastafari. I get kofa na na we futaga pinda be ko and the nato dinawe. Tobi zikamala kopa kwezi zwe ne tanga zonge eh. And the nato.